Before the bridges of today, there were covered bridges crossing our majestic Mackenzie River in Oregon. And before there were covered bridges, people built ferry boats to cross the river because they could not afford to build bridges that were likely to wash out during high water. In 1855, the CV Ferry crossed the Mackenzie River about four miles upriver from the present day I-5 bridge. This ferry was put into service on the north side of the river by Mr. Alexander Seavey. The Seavey family owned and operated a farm and hop yards in this area. Here, passengers and a buggy gather on the Seavey ferry for a ride across the lower Mackenzie. There was a fin on the upper side of the boat which could be let up or down to help propel the craft across the water. When it was lowered into the water, the current ran against it, pushing the ferry across the stream, guided by the cables seen here, from which it was suspended. You could set the ferry after you got off, and it would go back across the river by itself. This young man pulls the operating mechanism for the ferry boat. Notice the ferry railing and lever in the foreground. On this day in 1914, foot passengers with a bicycle crossed the Mackenzie on the CV ferry. The small ferry boat has a sanded surface and handrails on either side. This photo, also taken in 1914, shows a ferry boat further upriver on the Mackenzie in Lieberg. Here you see a flat barge drawn up on the river shore. The white building in the background is the Lieberg School. In the mid to late 1800s, wooden bridges were covered to keep the huge truss timbers dry. An uncovered bridge would deteriorate in about nine years, while a covered bridge could last 80 years or more. Replacing the Hendrix Ferry in 1908, this photo, taken in 1910, shows the completed Hendrix Covered Bridge spanning across the Mackenzie River near Walterville. This photo, taken during the construction of Hendrix Covered Bridge, shows workers and horses posing near the approach ramp. Rugged pioneers, armed with only hand tools, sweat, and ambition, began building covered bridges in Oregon during the mid-1850s. They often camped out at remote sites, living off the land or contracting with local farmers for food. Here you see workers posing on wooden planks during the process of laying the covered bridge platform. At the far left, you see a ladder and pulley system. This photo shows brave workers standing on top of the wooden truss framework for the covered bridge with the approach ramp piled with lumber in the foreground. Early covered bridge owners often financed construction by charging a toll, three cents for a sheep, five cents for a horse and rider. This photo, taken in 1910, shows a family posing in front of the covered bridge near the town of Mackenzie Bridge. This covered bridge has openings for airflow beneath the eaves. This early photo, taken in 1890, shows the Hayden Covered Bridge north of Springfield. This scene shows the long wooden span with visitors Ida Hendrix and Lizzie and Joe Lucky exploring the rocky Mackenzie Riverbank below. Later in 1921, Hayden Covered Bridge now has a steel railroad bridge alongside it. This photo shows early automobiles and motorcycles parked in the foreground. The rocks lining the road can still be found today if you look closely. This photo, taken in 1917, shows Vida residents posing 
in front of Frank and Ella Clayton's general store, which also served as the town post office. This covered bridge over Gate Creek was replaced by a concrete bridge in 1929. The former Gate Creek Ranch stage stop is in the background. This scene shows the covered bridge in Blue River and a view of the city in 1904. Here in 1905, Ed Walker drives the Mackenzie River Highway stagecoach over the Blue River Covered Bridge. The stagecoach has an open wagon drawn by four horses with passengers. With the Mackenzie River in the background, this photo, taken from Skinner's Butte, shows the Ferry Street Covered Bridge during the flood of 1895. Special thanks to the Lane County Historical Museum, Mark Stafford, Stafford Video, the Covered Bridge Society of Oregon, and I'm Bob Warren for the Mackenzie River Trust. <laughs>